can't imagine a world without books. I can't imagine a world where people couldn't pick what they want to read and learn about the world around them through the printed word. I'm Mark Guggenheim. I'm a writer, which probably means that I have a pretty passionate point of view on reading. Reading was incredibly important to us. One of the big things we would do each summer is go down to the library. My parents let me go to the library pretty much whenever I wanted. And we would get to pick as many books as we wanted to and just read the entire time. As a little girl, I read a lot. In fact, that's the only thing I could do because I was such a nerd and I really had trouble, you know, um, talking to people. So I basically read a lot. So by the time I was seven, I was reading Lord of the Rings. And I read unfiltered. I could read anything that I wanted. And checking out whatever books that I wanted. Yeah, uh, when I was a kid, I remember finding Playboys in my grandfather's closet. Oh, I didn't read those. <laughs> there were a few books in there that were a bit uh, that darker than my, my parents might have wanted. And reading the cartoons, actually. Whether, you, whether it's fiction or nonfiction or expositional writing or, you know, fantasy, it doesn't matter, you know, the the process of reading really makes you think. It can tell you a story about what's happening in the modern world, frame it in a way, and open, open your mind to, to, to different ways of thinking. And I don't think there's anything really as powerful as, that as, as, as reading. I think it's incredibly important for kids, for adults, for anyone to be able to read whatever they want to read when they need to read it. Uh, you know, I guess I, I just felt very passionately about this idea of the annual that. Um, you know, first of all, like children should read as much as they can. Kids are the most imaginative uh, creatures there are. You want to fuel that and you want to put them to hit adulthood with all the imagination and, and excitement that they possibly can. You discover that through, through stories that you love. And thank goodness for people like CBLDF that help protect diversity among books and reading uh, so that you can find whatever interests you or whatever doesn't find the information you need to have. I think, you know, the right to read is really the right to think. Hi, I'm Meryl Jaffe. I have a doctorate in educational and school psychology, and it is my pleasure and honor to be part of this Liberty Project with Comic Book Legal Defense Fund. One of the most important things for me as going through school as an educator was understanding the importance of getting kids to read, whether it was my kids or whether it was my students. We know the importance of reading. And so as a parent, that was very important to me. And I, I joke now that I was one of those parents, and I was also one of those teachers, who used to say, don't even think about bringing that stuff into my classroom, because we're going to focus on the classics. To me, that was so important, the vocabulary, the understanding of literacy. And at one point, I was working on a literacy project, and I was talking to my students and my kids who were also very instrumental in my, my career path. And I turned to them and I said, if I'm talking about literacy, maybe I should talk about graphic novels. What is so exciting, though, is that I am part of this awesome project, thanks to Lauren Sankovich and Comic Book Legal Defense Fund. I'm working with some awesome artists and creators and for the first time, the Liberty Annual is an all-ages publication, and we are having a dedicated educational component incorporated into this project. So we are going to be reaching out not only to all readers, but to educators, librarians, parents, anyone who is interested in the importance of having all kinds of literature available for all kinds of readers.